Hello, I'm Jeff Darrington, the Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at Greylog, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the highlights of what's new in Greylog version 5.0. First, I'd like to go over the updated support with some of our components within Greylog. Some of the updates are support for OpenSearch version 2.0, support for MongoDB version 5 and 6, which is a requirement for Greylog release 5, as well as support now for Java JDK version 17, also required in version 5.0. We now have new install options as well, so check those out. The Open Edition install will include all the Open Associated plugins, as well as Operations or Enterprise will include those and all of the Enterprise plugins. So please check out the documentation before upgrading or installing Greylog. Getting into the new exciting new features we've got inside of Greylog, let's look at the first group. First, we've done a refresh on the user interface, including new fonts and some small layout changes it's easier to browse and interface with. We've added some new search filters for shareable query snippets in Save Search. You'll see that on the main page. And we've added now notifications, the ability to delete queued event notifications. And we've updated Greylog Sidecar for the ability to support tag support for multiple configs per collector. So now you can auto configure your agents and have them automatically assigned to what groups of configurations you would like. Let's look at these new features. So first you'll see on our main page, we've got the changes on the screen. You'll see now with your save searches and dashboards, the actual name of the dashboard of save search will appear here. You'll also see the filters area. There's a known set of filter strings or filters that you wanna have on your logs. You might be searching something continually. You also have the addition to add parameters here. An example of using filters you've got here is I've got some logs for my Sysmon and event messages, and I'm keeping an eye on certain types of messages watching for PowerShell. So you'll see I can filter down really quickly on PowerShell. I want to watch SSH connections. So you'll see it will refresh the page with what's going on with some of the SSH that's going on. So it's a really quick, easy way to drill down for DevOps, for different processes you're watching on servers or process and code and watch those events. The event definitions you'll see here on this fail SSH login, the queued notifications will show up here. What you can do if there's many queued notifications, you can edit and stop the notification or the event definition and clear that within the settings. The sidecar configuration, when you go in and change the configuration of a given setup for, say, for example, this one, Windows, you can add Windows here as a tag and save that in the configuration. So each one bringing them in. And we now we'll move on to the next set of features. The next set we've got are some additional ones related to archiving. Archiving now has bulk restorations, so you can restore more than one archive all at once. We have updates to lookup tables, so Illuminate lookup tables can be used with your own pipelines, viewing those names instead of the adapters as well. And I'm very pleased to announce that we've added support for Sigma rules. You can import Sigma rules through the security menu, and let's have a look at this now. So the first thing we'll look at is in our archives area, you'll see here we have the ability to import bulk actions and restore or delete, as well as export in file names. And under the lookup tables we talked about, I've got here currently lookup table set, and you'll see all of the different lookup tables that we've got created in Illuminate. This will allow you to reuse, reuse those lookups in your own rules outside of the Greylog rules. So you might want to use these on your own. So you'll see quite a list of lookup tables in here. And our last feature, Sigma, let's look at that. And the enterprise menus under security, you'll see Sigma rules. And here I've got some Sigma rules imported. You'll see on the right-hand side here, you can enable and disable them. When you edit one of them, you'll see you can edit the current one. So you can go in and make changes to it of the current YAML file. As well, if you wanted to, you can go in and you can edit the event definition. So when you add and enable one of the rules, one of the Sigma rules, it automatically adds an event definition for which you can go in there and make changes. To get more information regarding this release, please feel free to go to the links here and go to greylog.org slash releases to find information on version five, or you can visit our documentation, go to docs.greylog.org to get links and download Greylog and install. That's our quick tour of the features in Greylog version 5. Thanks for watching and happy logging with Greylog. Have a great day.